Block, left, just a, it could be a half, but it's just a hammer wrist into the ribs. Then I'm going to come up. I'm going to go through the through this hyperextending the arm, go through the arm this way, and then this hand's got a cup here that has to sit down to here. And then I'm going to come in and do a one bone strike in the neck. I can smash and grab the other hand. Another strike. So I just block. I come in, hit. I like to be longer too. I come up, I smack up, and then this is going to come in just like a shelf as my whole body weight comes down, pulls her down, and then I just come in, hit, smash, and grab. So, go to the chair, bam. Now from here I'm going to do a Buddha Kapala again. I strike this because I've softened him up enough. Now I'm going to strike up here some more, one more time, and I'm going to feed his arm through and pull him down. You can go forward, you can go back, you can go to the side. You've seen us go both sides, we're going back. But however you step in the Buddha Kapala is up to you. But I take here, and once I have him down, and I'm not bringing him to me, I'm bringing him in front of me. Once I have him down here, or I pulled him down, this makes the target small. I want to scrunch down. Then I'm going to smack him and make him lay down. Another blow is coming at me. We'll say it's a low line kick or a knee. The guy wants to grab me and knee me. So I'm going to stay low but lean toward him, popping him on the leg. As he starts to jerk his leg back, boom, nail him in the groin to bend him down to me where I can grab him and we can continue to play. Again, you wanted to strike the guy, you finished up in this position, you shuffle forward. Whether you pull the foot back from here a little bit, or you just go forward, depends on how far he's backed up. In this case, I'll pull it back a bit, hack, elbow, and this should really be stout. Then you smack him in the neck as this arm tracks down. Seat. Now for me, this is a good silo. This works for me. Some people can do this. Other people can take this leg and put it all the way around here. I've got 22 and a half inch thighs. There's no way I'm going to compact that in this small of space. This works better for me. I have a picture where we have three silo players each sitting in a different position. They're all seated like this, but one has his foot this way one has his foot this way and the other one has it sitting here so there's a wide degree of flexibility that you can use there do i advocate fighting from this position no nah. but what if you're on the ground and what if you land in this position now you have an option you're going to then open it up smack lay him down go forward into this guy don't sit back here and let a kick or a knee come at you attack him change his angle then pop up. So you're going to come up and nail him in the pods. Let's see what it looks like when you're working with, you know, a couple of people to play with. When we did it in the air, you could see some of the motions. Remember, I started from here, from this position. Now, Paulie, if you just stand right here, I've got Paul in here. This could have been this strike here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the foot back a bit and step in and hack him with that. Notice it gets the leg out of the way. Also notice where my hand is. It's on the outside of his arm, just above the elbow, and it's light. After I do the elbow, mine into him, I'm going to strike him in the neck using the wrist again. And I do that, and here's my arm. It's right on the inside. It's slipped from here to here. I don't want it up high, nor do I want it too low. I need to be able to control it. I need to control his arm with his elbow. Then I can feed this, but you'll see there's a plane occurring here for the Puta Kapala. I don't want to pull him into me. Back up just here a bit. 
I don't want to pull him into me. I want to pull him in front of me. So after I make the strike and get him moving on, on this plane now, I push and pull and set him down like so. Then I can smash with the elbow and say, stay down. I've got Ron coming at me, and it's as though he, he might be trying to grab me to knee me or something, but it doesn't make any difference whether it's a knee or a kick. I can't afford to take the blow from this vertical position. So as he comes in, I'm going to step, boom, and I'm going to hit this. Then, as I get him slowed down, pop him in the pods, and now I have the pumpkin that I can take at any time. One more time. I was in this position, whatever position you're in. You can be here and the guy punches and you come in and you strike there. Notice that this is not meant to knock him away as if I'd hit him in the face, nor is it the hack to keep him close. I want the chest extended. Let's turn to the other side so that I make this. And remember, you don't get attacked normally from a right lead, but this is the way you get to see it best. I come across here and I lift it up. Then I crash the elbow in, smack him in the head. At the same time I hit him from here, this hand drops to the inside. This will allow me to push it like so. Smack, hit. Then I can pull him to me and seat. And now I'm ready to deal with the other guy. Polly up, please. One more thing to be aware of. We've done stepping out with a Puda Kapala to the right, stepping to the left. We're doing it stepping back, but you can do it going forward. As with all the Puda Kapalas, you have to have sufficiently turned his legs into jello. If you haven't, you got a real fight on your hands to so try to make this work. Don't do that. This is one of those great follow ups. I come in here and I smack, I elbow, I hit him here, and now I just shove him forward. And I still ended up doing the Puda Kapala. But if you want to make it a nasty one, for whatever reason, you've got to really make him pay for this. Once I make the strike and I hit this and I hit him in the neck, pull his head to your hip, then throw this over at the same time you go in whatever direction you want. You will have immobilized his head. All the stress gets taken right there. Puda Kapalas are nice. And you can play with them at this, where you feed the guy through. But if you really want to end his day, put it right here. And roll it over as hard and fast as you can. And that'll finish him. One more time. I'm going to deal with it just using block left. You've seen this in reflex action. I hack into here. It's coming up against the collarbone, but it's not even trying to break the collarbone. If I want to break it, I want to put a one-bone strike on there, not a two-boner. Get him in here. Boom! Smack him with the elbow and get yourself a little working room. Hit him in the neck. Push and pull. Because you have another threat that you're perceiving, smack. Pull it right here. Good. Get in here. Okay. 